And because you are sons, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So where does God send the spirit? Come on, what does it say? Into our hearts. Now I want you to think about what your heart is. Med students in Michigan State, I'm not talking about, you know, the physical heart. Think metaphorically. Think about what your heart is, okay? Everybody got that metaphor in your brain? This is where we have a cultural disconnect. Because we have a very specific idea of what our heart is, and it has to do with Valentine's Day. And tiny little candy hearts with romantic sayings on them, and tiny little uh, hearts on lollipops, and chocolate hearts, and valentines with hearts, and decorations with hearts, and hearts for us are a romantic thing. They are at least affection, if not desire, but when you read the Bible, and it mentions your heart, that's not what it's talking about, and you will misread a whole lot of scripture if you think that's what the heart is when you read it in the Bible. Here's the definition of the heart. The heart is the locus of a person's thoughts, his mind, his volition, emotions, so there's emotions there, and knowledge of right and wrong, your your conscience. Let me define it really simply. In the Bible, your heart is your will. It is the way you think, it is how you decide, it is your conscience defining right and wrong, the decisions that you make, and now all of a sudden, Scripture makes sense. In Proverbs 4, where, 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 where it says, above all things, guard your hearts, for from them flow springs of living water, springs, the, the springs of life. You begin to see that, what that means. Guard your minds and your decision making, your conscience and all those things. You, you know that when Jesus says, it is from your heart that flows evil thoughts and slander and gossip and murder and all all sorts of other things like that. All of a sudden, Scripture begins to make sense. So now let's reread this, understanding what our heart is. And when you're reading the Bible and you come across heart, just point at your head. It will help you kind of process this a little bit better. So, and because you are sons, God has sent the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So the Holy Spirit comes, and he, he lives inside of us, and, and he goes into our mind, and he changes our conscience, and, and what we see is right and wrong, and our will, and, and the Holy Spirit changes the way we think, and, and the way we process our decision making, and there is an emotional response. The emotional response is crying, Abba, Father, and crying is that crying. It's a yelling and crying and screaming out, and the word Abba, Father, means Daddy. When my kids were really little infants, and they would cry in the middle of the night, I never heard them. Now, I'm not making that up. I wasn't laying there pretending, you know, not to hear them. Um, and, and my wife would, would get up to feed them, and she would just glare at me the whole time as I just slept away. Um, but when they became toddlers, everything changed. I don't know what it was, but I could hear them. I could hear them across the, the house. And what they were always yelling is, Daddy. And I could hear it through walls and walls. Daddy. Walls and walls and closets and hallways and walls and walls and bathrooms. Daddy. Daddy. I mean, you could hear this. And and what they're, they're, they're saying by yelling that out is, Dad, I know you can hear me. I know you're near to me. And I know you can help me out and take care of me. Now, check this out. Holy Spirit comes into our hearts changes our mind, changes the way we think, changes the, our conscience and what is right and wrong, changes our will. We begin to treasure what God treasure and loves what God loves. And now we're not a hedonist. It's not about pleasure and happiness, but we see pleasure and happiness are gifts that God gives us anyway. It's not about all you can be, but we see that we can achieve great things, that we're wired and gifted in ways that can, that can impact the world. And we see examples in Scripture of men and women who just had huge ambition, and they did it all for the gospel. And we see it's not all about me, but, but we have love and we have respect that has been given to us by, by God. And he adopts us into his family. And our instinctive response is to cry out, Abba, Father, Daddy, because we know he's there, that he can hear us, that he's near, and that he wants to take care of us. 